After the abject failure that was the security response to the Trump assassination attempt on Saturday, the Secret Service is finally under investigation from the Homeland Security Inspector General. This is a big problem because that assassination is beginning to look more and more like it may have actually been an inside job from the deep state itself. From Fox News, Secret Service under Homeland Security Inspector General investigation after Trump assassination attempt. Uh, Secret Service under scrutiny following the assassination attempt attempt against Trump. The Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General has opened an investigation into the Secret Service's handling of security for former President Trump's rally in Pennsylvania over the weekend. I hope that this Inspector General actually finds something actionable so that Donald Trump, when he gets into office, can reorganize the entire DHS and Secret Service to actually do the job it was intended to do, rather than, I don't know, potentially set up a, a future president for assassination. In a brief notice posted to the Inspector General's website, the agency said the objective of the probe is to evaluate the United States Secret Service's uh, process for securing former President Trump's July 13th, 2024 campaign event, during which there was an assassination attempt against Trump. An assassination attempt that happened from a building that did not have any snipers on the roof because the roof had too much of a slope. But somehow the assassin was able to get up there. Oh, and by the way, the exact same line of sight just a few feet below on the ground level was an actual counter sniper team inside the building, which makes you wonder, did the shots actually come from the uh, assailant on the roof or did they come from inside the house? There was no date given for when the investigation was launched. They probably already have a bunch of information trying to backpedal and cover their own tracks after the abject failure, which, again, may have actually been set up from the inside. The notice was among a long list of ongoing cases that the inspector general's office is pursuing. President Biden had already directed an independent review of the security at the rally and... Unfortunately, most likely outcome is we have investigated ourselves and found that we've done nothing wrong. Questions remain on Wednesday surrounding uh, how the 20-year-old shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks managed to climb on top of a building and open fire at Trump and rally attendees in Butler, Pennsylvania, especially considering he had been seen at least 30 minutes prior and many people were begging Secret Service and other law enforcement to get him out of there. It also appears that the uh, one of the counter snipers saw and made eye contact with the uh, the assailant and didn't do anything about it. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle said in an interview on Tuesday that her agency was solely responsible for the implementation and execution of security there, and yet she refuses to resign in disgrace because she's a coward. Cheadle told CNN that no assets from the rally were diverted on the day Trump was shot, even though other events in the state required Secret Service protection. At that particular site, we divided up areas of responsibility, but the Secret Service is totally responsible for the design and implementation and the execution of the site, Cheadle said, who should be facing prison time, potentially even treason charges at this point. Cheadle, in a separate interview with ABC News, said the agency was aware of the security vulnerabilities presented by the building. Yeah, because it was just a slightly sloped roof that a sniper who was 20 years old, sniper who uh, was rejected from a shooting club because he was that bad of a shot, uh, who was 20 years old, was able to shoot from. Uh, the, where he took a sniper's position on uh, aiming at Trump. The building in particular had a sloped roof at its highest point, which, you know, is totally a problem for the Secret Service, but a 20-year-old could do it, apparently. And so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. So, you know, the de uh, decision was made to secure the building from inside, she said. And you can see these counter snipers are also on a similarly sloped roof. Uh, but the sloped roof comment is facing scrutiny with critics on social media calling it a total BS excuse that defies believability because it absolutely is. And again, there was a counter sniper team stationed inside that building, which means they didn't secure the building where they had assets positioned. And it's very possible that the uh, that particular uh, shot may have come from inside the building instead. I'm not making any accusations. I'm just asking some questions. I want to know your thoughts in the comments, then I want you to head over to my Locals page, thearthurnicks.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.